Uh, next, I want to introduce uh, Udusa Lube, who's uh, with the uh, Emerging Programs in the Gulf of Mexico Regional Office, who will be speaking to uh, the task force and the charter. And I think a, a key objective of this uh, of this presentation is to really help task force understand, members really understand their roles and responsibilities. So off to you, Idris. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, everyone. My name is Idris Abube. I am a program analyst in the Emerging Program Office in the Bonn Gulf of Mexico Regional Office. Next, Eric. So, what is a renewable energy task force? The Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act required coordination with the state governor of any affected states, like this one. We where we're having the, the intergovernmental task force. It demonstrates what is the coordination is about. The task force is initiated by the state governor request to Bonn. As you know, the governor of Louisiana, Honorable John Bell Edward, has sent Bonn a letter last year requesting to establish a task force. And Bonn responded back positively and established an original task force. A task force is a coordination and information exchange with the governmental partners. The members include elected officials of the state, local, and tribal government, and the federal officials as well. Next, Eric. Several task forces has been established throughout the years, the years by BOM, like Jim was saying, at least 15 of them has been established. Task force facilitate local and regional stakeholder input and transparency. Task force serve as a forum to coordinate planning, solicit feedback, educate about bond processes, permitting stat statutory requirement, and exchange in scientific information. The task forces are active throughout the whole phases of the program. As I was mentioning earlier, when BOM respond back to the governor's letter, we have created a regional approach for the task force, like the example of the Gulf of Maine and the New York Bight and the Carolinas. Next, Eric. The task force is chartered under the exception to the Federal Advisory Committee Act. The members are limited to full-time permanent part-time officers or employee of the federal government elected officer of the state, local, tribal governor, or the designated employee with the authority to act on their behalf, acting in the official capacity. In other words, the task force member only of the federal, federal agencies, local officials, state officials, and the tribal government. If you do not meet those definitions, you can still attend and observe the meeting like a lot of people are doing present. Next, Eric. Who is involved in the task force? A lot of agencies, federal agencies are involved in the task force. An example will be the Department of Defense, the Department of Energy, CEQ, the Department of Transportation, and many more. In the state level, the state officials, the coastal and environmental organization of the states, and elected officials are part of the task force as well. Locally, we can have elected officials and the Federally recognized tribes are also represented. Next, Eric. The charter established is established established the task force, and we have sent a, char a draft charter to all the task force members um, a while back. And this charter really helped us clarify what the purpose of the task force is. The authority where the task force camp comes from, the membership of the task force members, the role and responsibilities, and also help us lay out the communication plan. Next slide. As I was saying, a task force is an information exchange to facilitate the coordination consultation related to renewable energy planning activity in the Gulf of Mexico. It helps the state the federal government, the tribes, and the local officials introduce their respective roles and responsibilities regarding offshore wind and renewable energy and the, the renewable energy 
liaison process in the Gulf of Mexico. The task force is neither a decision-making nor approval body. The Secretary of Interior remained the ultimate decision-maker on the leasing process of renewable energy in the Gulf of Mexico. Next, Eric. Bonn will hold task force meeting or webinar in coordination with the state, state point of contact. That's the communication part. And we will hold task force meeting in a hoc basis throughout the whole process of the renewable energy project. Public information or material generated from the Gulf of Mexico Tax Force meeting will be made available on the BOM website. Next, Eric. As I mentioned earlier, the charter has been distributed to the task force members and we solicited comment to the, to the charter. And if you do have any comment, please email it to me. My email address is idrisa.ube at bom.gov by, by Tuesday, July 6th. 2021. We will incorporate all the comments in the charter, and when the charter is finalized, we will be posting it onto the BOM, BOM Gulf Mexico website. Next, Eric. With that, I will conclude my presentation, and I will be happy to take any questions at the end of the panel. Thank you, Eric. All right. Thank you very much, Idrissa.